You are watching this video because your water heater will not light. It starts up, it runs, and then the flame goes out within seconds. And then it cycles again. It starts up, the flame lights up, and it shuts the gas off and shuts the flame off again. That could cycle all night long. That means that you possibly have a flame sensor that simply needs to be sanded with a little steel wool. That's a possibility. Um, it's worth trying if you're confident in doing this safely. That means you have to shut the machine off, you have to shut off the gas, because you're going to reach your arm in there. I'll show you how I did mine. It's up to you if you want to do yours. This is something that my repairman told me that I can do myself. And he showed me, you take out the piece, and you basically run steel wool over it a lot. You get it nice and sanded down. It's a piece of metal, and it senses the flame. If it does not sense the flame, that means it might be needing your assistance in sanding it. I got a new machine recently because the tank broke, but on my older machine, I, I had to go in there and do this every two months. The repairman also told me something critical, that if you have cat litter anywhere near your machine, all that air it's drawing in there, the cat litter dust reacts with the flame sensor. And so it needs to be cleaned off every few months. So I take off the access plate after shutting the machine off, because there's electrical and there's fire components in there. You don't want to be sticking your hand in there unless you are really sure of what you're doing. I'm going to show you how I did mine. It's up to you if you decide to do yours. Watch the video and, and you can make a decision for yourself. If you're in doubt, call your repair person to come over and show you how to do this. Uh, the guy that came over for me, I didn't even ask, and he showed me how to do it. He said, you're going to probably have to do this every few months because there's kitty litter in here because I have kitties. And if you want to see some cool cat videos, watch my other videos. Anyway, I'll show you how to fix this right now. You don't need to pay someone $125 like I did. Um, and if you do, ask them how he did it, and then you can learn. And then the next time, you can do it and save yourself 125 schmackeronies. Okay. This is the problem. You turn on the switch, which it should always be on. It runs, and then you hear, this is the gas line going down, and you hear it try to ignite, which you're gonna hear it in a second. First it runs to pull air out, so that it draws, there's the flame. Now it's probably gonna shut off, because my sensor that tells the machine that there is flame there, is uh, corroded and needs cleaning and then suddenly it'll just shut off what the machine is doing is the sensor is not seeing the flame or feeling or sensing the flame because it's corroded it's just looks like it has a patina on it if you will um, if you don't know in antiques and you don't know what patina is it's like a shiny piece of metal it's no longer shiny well uh, unfortunately, if you keep uh, your water heater for more than probably six or seven years, you may have this same problem where it fires up and it quits right away. When it fires up, it should be heating for water and the flame should be staying there for a while. Uh, and so the machine has a safety uh, feature to it where if it thinks there's no flame down there, it will just shut off. Also read your owner's manual. It's very important. Follow the instructions of your particular water heater. Now, this water heater is 10 years old now, and the symptom is cold shower. Now, maybe some of you could benefit from a cold shower, but uh, typically it would be nice to have a little warm water when you do dishes or um, make a little hot cocoa or something like that. And so the symptom is no hot water. Could be a lot of things, but if you come down and you have this kind where it blows positive pressure air, it actually sucks air into the room and blows it up through the flue and outside of the house. It's a safety feature that keeps you from getting carbon monoxide. So what you want to do is check and see if you're getting cold water. Just look at the operation, and if you're not sure, call a professional. Really, I do urge you to do that. But if you're positive that you're hearing it light up and then shut right back off again, hear that? The fan's running. 
that draws the air out. You're going to see the flame light up. You hear the bell. It's not going to light yet. There it is. That piece is loose because I was in there just before this video. You'll repeat. There, it shut off. The sensor failed. It said, you don't have flame. And then the machine shut off the gas. Keeps you from getting fired. Probably a good feature. So, what you do is, is uh, my plug-in is up here. You pull the power. Uh, you don't stick your hand in there right after you just had flame. You'll burn it. And uh, you access this cover. I've let mine cool off now. Um, this cover is an outside exterior faceplate. This plate is the interior faceplate. It sits in there. It seats in. If I had two hands, I would show you that. But you're going to pull both of those out of the way. And once you're inside, you're going to find that the sensor... Uh, I think I should get you a flashlight. Hold on one second. Uh, let's take a look. Again, I only urge you to do this if you're absolutely confident that you're not going to get yourself hurt. Or blow yourself up because there's electricity in here. There's gas in here. There's fire in here. All the things that could be fun during the 4th of July. Okay, so we're gonna reach in there. I've never done this with a camera before. How am I gonna get my hands in there? You have to be very flexible to make this happen. Okay, so you reach in, again, the system should be off for a while so you don't burn yourself. The sensor is right here. It's uh, like a copper rod. Nothing special about it, it comes right out of the housing depending on your make and model. This is why you may want to have someone show it to you first. And here it is. This is all it is, right here. It is simply L-shaped. Um, it fits in the housing on this end on the right end it slides into a holder and the holder just holds it this part that you see the bottom of the L so to speak that part is where the flame crosses and the sensor um, you can see is pretty dirty I'm gonna put it down here with a light it's just kinda like looks corroded so got a little steel wool well, I do. You can also use sandpaper. So, um, either steel, steel wool is the best. Today I'm going to try sandpaper because uh, you just want to get this metal to be shiny again. Just put it in there and spin it around. Look at that. Way improved. Can you see that? Way improved. You can go like this too. Try and get all sides. And I'm just a home guy that was shown this once. This is the coordinated part. I wish I could have the camera inside there. But you have to find where that hole is and get that piece of metal back in the hole. And then you'll be good for another six months. Here I was thinking I had to have to replace the whole machine because it was just starting up and shutting down right away. We had the gas line checked. We had um, worries. Well, we were actually starting to plan to buy a new machine to replace it, but it was only six years old at the time. And uh, the guy came over finally and tried this and he sanded it with steel wool and told me how to replace it. Ever been inside a water heater before? I know I haven't. See how it goes back in there? And it, um, you can see where the igniter is. You put it right at the mouth of that so that it, it senses in the correct direction. I think what happens is it starts to glow and then a little eyeball sees it and tells the machine that yes you do have flame and it will allow the gas to continue to burn 
and you'll get hot water. Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you how this works. Don't do this at home. Light it with the door off. What I'm gonna do is to show you. See how glow? Look at that thing glow. Fire! Yay! Ever like to play with fire? There, it burns like a charm. See, it did not shut off. The system is working once again. And I did not pay $125 to do this. So, if you're confident and you want to have someone show you how, go for it.